More than half a dozen lawsuits have been filed after the deadly stampede at a music festival in Houston, and police have also opened a criminal investigation. The suits are aimed at Travis Scott, the hip-hop headliner whose show fell into chaos, as well as music promoters Live Nation and Scoremore. Houston-based attorney Anthony Busby said Monday his firm planned to sue on behalf of 21-year-old victim Axel Acosta and over 30 others who were either killed or injured. I think it's self-evident that this concert was planned incredibly poorly, that no regard was given to the safety of these young people at the concert, that there was no emergency response mechanism in place to help those who were in an extremist situation. But files have emerged of the eight who died from 14 to 27 years old, including a high school baseball player, a high school band member who loved to dance, and several college students from around the country. The father of Axel Acosta said his son was a great kid and an excellent student. He was trying to be a engineer or computer programmer because he want to provide for his family. We're trying to make things change in this type of events. Because it could, today is me. I lost my son. It could be you, it could be you. When you send your kid to have some fun, and because somebody else is not providing the right I don't know how I can explain it, but the right security. He was trying to be a engineer or computer programmer because he want to provide for his family. He really cares about. It. He was the first grandkid. He was the oldest one. He always take care of his other cousins and nieces. Busby said his firm's lawsuit will be filed soon. Neither Live Nation nor Scott immediately responded to requests for comment.